Hello everyone. Today, we'll learn how to use two audio editing tools that help improve your audio quality in general and recording quality in particular, audio fade in and audio fade out. The audio fade feature the avoids audio from ending up with a sudden start or end that can be rough on the ears. Here is the project with an audio file that I've inserted to use as the background music. Inserting audio won't take you much time. You can learn how to do that at the video, Inserting Audio. And here are the Audio Fade In and Audio Fade Out button. Now, I'll fade in and fade out the beginning and the ending part of the audio. Note that you can fade any part of it. Before we start, you should make the wave bar larger, making it easier for you to see the changes. To do that, right click the audio object in the timeline pane, click Waveform Bar Height, and select Large. Now, select the audio object. You can select it on the canvas, timeline, or selection pane. Remember that if you don't select any range, Active Presenter will apply the effect to the whole audio file. Next, in the timeline, specify the audio range that you want to apply the effect. It's the start range of the audio time bar when you need to apply the fade in effect. Then, click Audio Fade In. After that, the audio time bar will look like this. Fade in begins with silence, and gradually becomes louder until full volume. As you can see, the shape of the fade is linear as the volume rises at a constant rate. The red line marks where the fade in effect ends. You can apply these effects several times to strengthen the fade. Similarly, you can do the same to apply the fade out effect to the end range of the audio to decrease the sound level to silence. To delete the audio effect that you've applied, first, select the faded range. The timeline snapping mode makes it easy for you to select the range. To turn on or turn off this mode, open the view tab and click timeline snapping. Then, click the arrow button on the Adjust Volume button, and select Restore Original Volume. And the faded range will go back to its original signal level. That's all I want to share about the audio fade effect in Active Presenter 7. Hope that you'll find it useful. Thank you for watching.